Today, I have four awesome Illustrator tips for using the Pathfinder window. So tune in and learn four things about the Illustrator Pathfinder function. As designers, it's important to have a website to show off our portfolio of work. Bookmark offers the most straightforward and quickest way to generate an awesome website without even having to write down a single line of code and all completed in a matter of minutes. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about Bookmark and design your website today. What is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. A few months back on my channel, I actually made a comprehensive guide for the Pathfinder function. But that was just the basic functions of each of the options in the Pathfinder window. Today I'm going to show you 4 advanced tips or tricks for the Pathfinder. So let's jump right into the video tutorial. The first advanced tip is really helpful and to demonstrate I have some text and a circle in Illustrator. First, let's locate the Pathfinder. And it's actually a great idea to drag and pull it onto the artboard so you can locate all of the options and functions with ease. If I want to punch this text into the circle, you probably think that you need to use the minus front option. However, it doesn't work and that's because the text is still text and it's not actually a vector shape or vector path. If your next thought would be to outline the text, stop right there because there is actually no need to do that and there is a better way to do things. Instead, you can go over to the minus front option, but before you do, hold down the alt option key and then click the operation. Illustrator will cut the text into the shape, but you can actually still edit the text, which is totally awesome. This is because you've actually converted things into a compound shape. This tip doesn't just work with the minus front option, you can choose it for any of the top row in the Pathfinder window. Just simply hold down the Alt Option key and then click to use a compound shape. So for example, you can use the intersect operation and the text will be hidden according to the shape, which could be very handy for certain designs. The second tip in today's Pathfinder tutorial is a tip for helping with non-destructive workflow. If I want to cut out a shape into another one, often we use the minus front operation for something like that. This will cut the shape out, but it also will discard everything else in the collection. Instead, it's always a good idea to use a divide option in the Pathfinder window, and then ungroup the shapes because they will be grouped once you use the divide function. You now have more choices and you can methodically remove or edit parts of the design or even hide certain areas with command or control 3 on your keyboard. Also, each individual shape now has its own layer in the layers window, which is super useful and helpful. So sometimes when working in Illustrator, a shape might have too many anchor points, and you always want to limit the amount of anchor points as much as possible whilst keeping the shape or the design the same. In the Pathfinder window, you can actually come into the fly down menu and head into the Pathfinder options. There is a setting where you can remove redundant points. However, this only works once you've used the merge function for example. As you can see, the redundant points have actually been removed from my shape. If I go back and then I turn off the setting, you will see this operation doesn't work as it previously did. So make sure to check the redundant points option. The fourth and the final tip today is an advanced technique that will really save you time in your workflow. So let's punch a hole through it using the minus front option. So once that's been done, I could actually go into the Pathfinder window and repeat the last operation on this new selection of shapes. But the quicker way for doing things would be just to press Command or Control 4 on your keyboard, as this is the shortcut to repeat the last operation when using the Pathfinder window. So remember, if you want to keep progressing as a graphic designer, subscribe to my channel right here on YouTube 
and stay tuned in to weekly content and uploads. Also, let me know what you want to see on this channel in the not too distant future. Like and share my content on social media if you do want to help out my channel. And of course, don't forget to have a great day everybody. Until next time, there's on your future today. Peace.